Hi traders, a short recap of my trading session today. Take a look at the S&P 500, it's coming down. That's the key to everything. Now take a look at Tesla. Tesla is also coming down. Try to move higher earlier, but now it has a very nice bear flag formation right here at the lows. One of the strongest technical formation is a bear flag and I'm about to short right as it moves to a new low. And uh, here we go, very close clicking the button and I'm short. Now I'm going to fast forward it so you can see what happened but uh, immediately you can see how the bear flag formation draws in a lot of sellers. Uh, look at the way it came down, look at the extended volume a little bit, not much but it still is coming down, the volume will grow, I'm already up $15,000 and I'm looking for the first sign of a pullback which is right now. I mean the first time you can see the candle slightly moving higher, this green candle you're seeing right now I just reached my one-to-one -one risk reward ratio, actually a little bit more than that and I'm still holding 400 shares hoping that it's going to continue coming down so I get a little, even a little bit better than that. So although my risk reward is one-to-one -one, I'm always trying to get a bit more. Uh, that's why I'm keeping the 400 shares, I'm trying to uh, wait for a bigger move, hoping for a bigger move but anyway the first uh, challenge was taking it under the lows and getting uh, just a bit over my one-to-one -one risk reward ratio and um, at that point uh, if you did like uh, my Tesla trade before we move to the next trades I uh, will appreciate if you could give us a thumb up helps our channel helps more people like you watch trading videos so thank you for that and let's continue to my new trades and here's my blue trade that is in fact my second blue trade because my first blue trade was a losing trade now I did try try earlier and you can see the result here down $6,700. I did move in right over here and moved out once it moved over the highs. That was the right thing to do but now I'm preparing for my second trade as it comes under 3310. I think that would be the point of no return and as you can see it's about to get there getting ready to short 6,000 shares shorting now. Now why do I believe so strongly that this stock should come down? Because it's a big gap and go. Now here comes a very fast forward so you can see what happened next. Now when a stock is down 30% it's not likely to succeed moving higher. Some people are buying it, some people are catching falling knives, some people are doing the big mistake trying to uh, see if it can actually move higher because it's down so much or to average down their losses. Well that's not the right thing to do. The right thing to do is to look for a second opportunity because again it's all about timing gap and go usually does make it so I look for the point of no return the point under 3310 was that point now it's down more than a point as you can see here now I'm about to take my partial just moved under the lows about to click the button eight thousand dollars covered my loss and a little bit more than that now and again the, the whole idea here is that when you have a big gap and go like 30 percent currently as you can see 31 percent the fact that it moved up earlier just indicates one thing I had the wrong timing it's likely to come down so I'm looking for the second time the second time where I can see that there's a good opportunity where it looks to me like it's about to fail moving higher and probably will give up to the gap and go strong downside momentum and it did happen so really trading is not only about knowing how gap and goes works it's about going for the right opportunity and the right timing my first trade was wrong my second trade was right last trade we're going to discuss today is Tesla again well I did mention it was my Tesla trade take a look at my first trade it was a classic bear flag formation the pole uh, the flag as it was going sideways and the breakdown underneath now what you're seeing here is a continuation a trend it started the trend here and it's coming down and I'm about to short it and I don't expect the first result like I did in the first trade so I'm about to short shorting now 4,000 shares now Tesla is approaching the lows and it looks to me like it's about to challenge the lows and as you can see it's clearly trending lower. Now it's moving up a bit but I'm not worried. Why I'm not worried? I'm not worried because it is trending lower and the trend is your best friend. Now take a look at my stop loss. It's right over there and take a look at my target which is right here below. So I'm looking again for approximately a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio hoping that it's going to come down to my target but once it does reach my target and as you can see it's on the way I will not take my partial unless I can see that it's pulling back up over so again I'm trying to get a little bit more than my normal one-to-one -one risk reward it was just very very close right here and uh, missed it by a few cents 
But again, as it is touching my target, I'm not taking my partial. I'm waiting for a clear move under so I can probably get a bit more and just did that. So again, following it, hoping it's going to continue. It, it does come to the point where it's uh, reaching my target and much more than that. And that's the point where I'm thinking about taking my partial. You can see it moved over my target quite a lot. So here's the point. I'm up $14,000 and I'm clicking the button right now. So I took my partial, that was my second trade in Tesla. And as you can see, the end result is uh, over $27,000 in Tesla today. And that's approximately what I had uh, for all of my trades today. I mean, I had a few more trades, but the end result is really two trades in Tesla today. Now, again, there's a big difference between my first trade where I would expect a quick move down, like uh, what happened there with the bear flag. And the second trade where I'm just following the trend of the stock. Now, the market did not really make a decision up to a point where it did start to come down and helped with my Tesla trade. In fact, Tesla reached close to my target before the market went down, which means Tesla is under pressure. When I saw Tesla first moving down, I noticed that there's some pressure. Although the market was slowly moving higher, not much, really just slowly moving higher, Tesla kept coming down, which indicates that there's a lot of sellers in Tesla and there's a lot of pressure in Tesla. And the way Tesla finally came down with the help of the market, that helped me achieve my uh, target in Tesla, which is more than my expected one to one risk reward ratio. And again, a very nice trade in Tesla. And uh, Tesla did uh, provide for me once more again. Well, thank you very much for watching this. And if you do want to see more day trading content, make sure that you subscribe. There's a button right here below and click the notification bell. So you will see, you will be notified of my future uploads. And if you do like to trade with me, there's plenty of free links right here below, which you can click to join our free trading room trial and more. So thank you very much for watching this. Please give us a thumb up and I'll see you in my next videos. So just Stay green and safe.